welcome back to our art chat on uh, March 18. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, again, we've been busy this week. I've been sick this week, but that, that didn't really stop me not doing anything. Um, first of all, I want to share with you my screen and show you the, some pieces of art I put together. I worked uh, for quite a while now and I just did um, the very first proof to see how they print and how they, how they look like. And um, I was very, very surprised how beautiful they actually are on print. It's better than we use, what you see on screen. And uh, I do have them in here in case you guys want to see them. Um, of course, they're going to be great. they're going to be uh, printed on uh, very large scales. I haven't decided exactly the the, the size, but they will um, they'll be larger than this for sure. Let's see. Uh, good week last week. I actually sold. Uh, uh, pieces at our, our open Saturday. We have an open Saturday every second Saturday. In this building, we're also open every third Saturday, but we're here all the time. But I, I made three sales uh, and I sold Cloudburst, which was actually in the Wabi Sabi uh, exhibition. And then I sold two that I've had since 2018, just hanging on the wall. Uh, one is called Bundle and the other is called Closet. Um, and uh, I was really pleased, a really good day to get all those things sold at once. That was, that was magnificent. And uh, that was actually so, the, the very last day of the exhibition, wasn't it? And, and, and you know, late in the day. <laughs> so it was quite a, quite a nice ending to a Saturday. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, keep that momentum going after your big sale a couple of weeks ago. And then <laughs> I had a nice Saturday last Saturday. Um, let's see, you had also, were you going oh. to talk a little bit about the things you were going to frame? I noticed we missed oh, this. Oh, yes, yes. Um, you know, um, two, three weeks ago, I had that uh, couple the big buying sale. my biggest pieces here in the, from the inheritance series. So, um, last week, I, uh, at the end of last week, I went to the printing lab to arrange for two new um, big prints to replace those ones um, sold. And this would be the uh, edition two or five. And yeah, hopefully so there's, they, only, there's only five of them. Right. And hopefully somebody with a great eye will pick them up from the studio. Or, um, and uh, actually this one, um, I have a small print of it, but I realized that it has so much details uh, and I consider to reprint this one on a larger scale so that you and when can, they're larger, you, you almost you, feel like you, you're in the room. Right. You can connect with it better. Marvelous. I noticed those. Uh, I want to make sure you caught those. And then the other project that I just am finishing up this week, uh, we've had a 10 week project in my uh, residency program, the Proyectos de Residencia in, in Mexico City. Uh, that we're doing virtually because of COVID. Uh, so I had prepared three, uh, excuse me, four large pieces. These are four by six feet. Uh, and so they're, it's hard to get the scale of them here, but they're actually part of a larger collection called Dreamtime. And this is uh, kind of archetypal symbols that are common in religious beliefs. It's not about religion, it's about symbology and about, and about uh, uh, that kind of nonverbal vo vocabulary. These are actually kind of representational and I don't do that very often, uh, except for my little faces. But uh, I did mix some representational images here because I think it gives, some, it gives people something to grab onto when they're surrounded completely by abstracts. Uh, if you've got a complete show of just abstracts, you got to give the eye something to, to rest uh, and in a small space. <laughs> uh, and also in, in, a, in a big room, if, if we were to secure one of the uh, viewing places for an, an exhibition here at Silver Street Gallery, the, the ceilings are what, 25, 30 feet high. And uh, you get a bunch of small paintings on the wall and they just disappear. So these were meant, these four were meant to be kind of anchor pieces 
to introduce people to the concept, to get them looking for symbols, and also to, to kind of make the whole show look a little better. Uh, so these are basically finished. I need to do a little cleaning up, but uh, it's been a 10 week program. And now we'll, we'll be judged, uh, juried from this to see who gets into the show in Mexico and on Artsy. And uh, if I'm selected, I'll do that. If not, then I'll just add these to the, the collection that I'm working on, uh, getting ready for my own exhibition, hopefully in the fall. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. That is exciting. Yeah, it's been fun. And then to be able to work on a schedule like that, I've never done that before. That's So let's move uh, on. Uh, for this um, show, I um, prepared two images. One it's called Illumination, and it's part of the uh, Synopsis series. And the other one, it's more pop art, a completely different style. Um, called um, Cinema Fine uh, from uh, the Americana series. I'm still working on Americana series because uh, I, I'm always fascinated about this old American classic buildings, uh, cinemas, uh, old gas stations, uh, old cars. Uh, it's a very slow process because I, I can't get to all these things, you know, uh, fast. It's when I travel, when I go places, I discover something, so this is how it happens. But let me let me share the screen with you to to show you more about this and take you to this journey. I find it absolutely amazing that to us these are just old buildings. You know, they're they're lovely, but you show these to folks in Europe and other parts of the world, they think they're so exotic. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk We're about so used this. To see it. We'll talk about this later, and um, and how this series should look like. But anyway, like, let's talk about a little uh, of illumination and about the whole series of uh, uh, synopsis. Mm -hmm. So, um, to talk about this, I'm going to take you to show you uh, more in this series. I just you know, love it. It's, 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 it's an abstract um, sort of photography. And what I wanted to do with this is um, to create a, a, a dreamy, um, a calm, relaxed, uh, uh, magic in a way, sort of imagery. Mm -hmm. um, I called uh, the series Synopsis because I see it as a connection, a connection with a memory or memories of um, every individual. And, and uh, what I'm saying about this is being abstract, um, you can um, uh, connect with your own memory, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, remember something uh, uh, that is related with your own experience. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. So I, I just never worked that much in um, additions. Um, and so when you say addition of 15 mm -hmm. or whatever, and it, it then lists um, different sizes, mm -hmm. um, you know, can the additions, is it 15 total mm -hmm. and can be any size? Mm -hmm. So yeah. there's not 15 of each. No, okay. it is 15, um, so. you know, every image has a, a, a limited size. After that, uh, you can't print because it's too blurry or it doesn't handle more than that. Right. So you can, you can decide most of, or 10 of them will be 16 by 20, or if you are a special collector, you could say, could you print for me a different size. I want to be uh, from the edge to the other edge of the couch. And uh, we can issue um, a number like that as well. But, but it's, that it's number only, that is only 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I know some artists do different do that differently. We feel like for collectors, it, if you say there are 15 copies, there should be 15 copies. Okay. Um, and it, it, it makes it more collectible. 
yes, there are some artists that do issue 15 editions of 16 by 20 and 15 edition of, but that makes it very, it's too spread and there's too many copies of them anyway. So uh, going back to um, illumination, let me put it on the screen. John, you're supposed to help me and fill up these dead moments. Ah, I'm supposed to be talking. Well, yeah. I, I really wanted to, to say about this particular series, I mean, oh. these are layers and layers and layers of images, right? Um, yes, and in, in particular, it, it, with illumination, it's it's about branches, it's trees. Um, there is a sunset, and the way I see it is, you know, every there are certain moments in our life when you think um, you can't go further, you something stops you on the way, but yet there is this um, nebula um, that gets in your way, but yet in this image, there is the light. You mm -hmm. can reach it. You can find your own way to this uh, uh, conglomerate of branches uh, to, to reach your goal. What I see, Bogdan, is, is I, I'm taken back to a childhood memory of driving to the country with my parents mm -hmm. and watching the trees go by out the car window. On the window, so yeah. What, mm -hmm. I, what I think is fascinating about uh, Abstract, as, as well as this particular series, is that, that it's so much about memory. And I think that's why the, the title synapsis works so well for the whole series, because mm -hmm. you're really, you're making connections and some of them are very, very subtle. Uh, and you kept saying it's calming and peaceful, but this is really a very active, busy piece. Mm -hmm. uh, it just depends on how you're looking at it. Um, it again, it's every individual has this uh, chance to connect with these images on their own way. Does, mm -hmm. it, make, does it make sense? Yeah, and so much of your work is about nostalgia and memory. I mean, even the buildings and all of those things are, are very personal and reflective. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just think these fit in with that same that same style, but completely abstract. And I, I think it's great that you're doing them. Um, you know, every and I collect all kinds of elements and each one of these series has a multiple layer on uh, superimposed um, and even in, in some cases I use a digital drawing um, of course very subtle just to connect elements to each mm -hmm. other and um, illumination it's yeah uh, you know it should give you um, um, a sense of calm, a sense of reflection. Uh, there is a little confusing if you if you if you look, um, but there is something magic in it, you know, um, mm -hmm. and and it's something um, a floating sort of um, feeling. What about your other piece? Um, you mean the the. In the, in the yeah, we're about 20 minutes in. So. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, ge I'm getting too much. Uh, but what I want to finish with this one is, in particular, this one is printed on canvas. Yes. Um, it's uh, 26 by 26 inches. And um, uh, let me stop this. You're supposed to remind me to show it. I have it right here. And it's a very, very nice piece. Great size. And um, it can be shipped anywhere around the country um, or the world. Why not? Anyway, moving forward, or, um, I have the second piece, which is called Cinema Fine. It's from uh, a series called Americana, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, that I work on since 2015, and I moved to. Uh, America, 
Um, again, I find this um, uh, how could I say this architecture piece is very, very um, attractive. And I, I took a, 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 a step forward and I recolored them so they are some sort of a pop art style. Mm -hmm. This particular image is 16 by 20. Um, and it's um, printed on uh, cotton rock paper, which is the final print uh, version of paper. And um, it's, um, again, easy to ship, easy to, um, or, or come here at the studio and pick it up. Um, yeah. uh, we are open every second Saturday and third Saturday. And those are other two images in the same series. And um, Cinema Heights, a very um, famous cinema here in Houston. And um, let's move on because uh, we're running out of time. I'm sorry, I, I, I've been over my time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to pull up the slide. Yeah. I want to share a couple of pieces with you. Uh, one is uh, called Gabriel. It's uh, nine, nine by 12. They are all on paper. And uh, there's 12 in the series. And I named them after the archangels uh, because there happen to be 12 archangels. Uh, this particular series has a lot of the elements that you'll see in a lot of my work, those little circles, uh, the kind of sacred circle, uh, the, the layering of that background. Uh, and uh, there, I have several in the series. They look really, really good framed. Uh, this particular series though, I, I did because I was stranded. Uh, and I was actually, this is when my father was dying and I was kind of keeping watch. I had to be at his house. And I did all of these on their, on their dining room table uh, as I kind of made sure dad was doing okay. So, uh, the series, I, I really love the colors. I really like the, um, you know, the the calming effect uh, that the colors have on me, or 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 what what to me gives them so much depth. Uh, but they are still very abstract, very active, as is typical of my busy style. Um, but these are, like I say, there are twelve of them, and I just think they're they're really really special to me. Uh, not just because of the memory of when I made them, but I just think they turned out really well. Uh, and they're, they're here in the studio available, uh, easy to ship. You wanna move on to PAL? Get in there. PAL is the one I've got behind me. This is a, uh, a larger abstract. It's uh, 36 by 24 inches. It uh, is just kind of like an explosion of color and, and it seemed very Easter-like to me, the, the pastels in it. Uh, I called it POW because it looked like, you know, I couldn't think of what to call it because I wanted to call it the Tribbles uh, from Star Trek bang, fame. But uh, I called it POW because it was like Batman and it POW and whack and wham, uh, these explosions of color. It, it looks almost celestial, like it's, it's some sort of galaxy forming. Uh, but uh, I really like the, the painting. It's gotten quite a bit of attention here in the studio, but uh, it's still here. So it's still available. Uh, I really like working in abstract. And the, the more I worked on this project lately to, uh, to look at the, the representational uh, work, I really like working in abstract. I don't, it, it's so much more freeing, I think, for me, uh, and hopefully for the people who watch, who, who look at it, uh, that uh, I think I'll, I'll save the, the faces. And in fact, I, I actually have a, a new thing I have done, uh, another face, uh, but this one was, was for an FT, an NFT, which are these new digital files that people are selling with Bitcoin. Uh, I'm also a member of a group in Berlin uh, called Artists Stop Being Poor. 
uh, St uh, Stefan von Quick is the, the guy running that. And he's setting up a, the, his first NFT uh, collection, uh, exhibition. And so the theme is pineapples and here's Mr. Pineapple Head. Uh, and so I put that into the, to the exhibition. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm completely sold on the idea, but the, the thing that is absolutely beautiful about it is that it's all digital. It gives a digital artist a lot more breadth as far as a career. And with every sale that is made, the artist gets a little bit back, no matter how many times it sells. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a royalty. And that certainly doesn't happen when you sell a painting. Uh, if your painting goes up in value, the artist doesn't get any of that money later on. So it's just an interesting new fad. We'll see what it what happens with that. Uh, but I'm honored to be participating in that. Um, let's see, what else have we got, Bogdan? We didn't go anywhere this week. We didn't go anywhere. I, I just, you know, I just wanted to show this, uh, the print of the, hot, the, the cinema. Oh, sure. Just because I never get the chance to show anything real, real time. Uh, and this is how it looks like, yeah. Those, uh, that Americana stuff is really, really popular. Yes. Uh, and, and you can see why. I wish I can travel more these days too. Um, well, now, now it's the, the weather's right. Uh, all the plants will be dead from the big freeze, but unless we go further. It works for me. Yeah, we'll do a road trip. Less Photoshop, less remove all <laughs> the plants. And you have a real knack at taking architectural pictures. I mean, you get the angles right and you can actually, people have seen that, that theater for many, many years. This is, is in Livingston, Texas, isn't it? The thing? Yeah. And, um, the gas and so people gas. have seen that for years, but they may not have seen it like you depicted mm -hmm. it. And that's, that's your and, eye. And again, everything I, I, I do with this series, you know, I remove all kinds of um, noisy elements uh, that are not important, like uh, details of uh, windows. I, I rather cover those up in, in Photoshop with, with a flat color, or I add some uh, a different sky, which is a flat, a little oversaturated color of a, of a sky, or I add some dots on the sky mm -hmm. to m make it completely uh, pop art like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and so those, those kind of feed in well with your Miami Mon Amour uh, series yeah, as well. They have that same flavor. I'll present that probably next time and tell you the history, how, how it started, and uh, where it's going to go. Probably we should. Um, talk about more about Miami Mon Amour and probably um, um, plan an exhibition about this, a mini exhibition. Yes, you, you should get those up, absolutely. Just because people have been away um, from Miami or, or traveling in general for so long, I think it would be uh, um, great for them to reconnect with these places. And, you know, mm -hmm. those one who do no Miami and South Beach, they will recognize everything, uh, every element in them. Absolutely. It's a real part of, of that local, well, it's very iconic for that area, yeah. Well, it is now 11.30. Oh my God. So we need to probably wrap that up, but uh, let's see, you've been sick this week. I got my first shot this week. Oh, so God. I'm feeling a little punky, but uh, you know, we're gonna make it through. <laughs> 